What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Urban Monkeys. This week, we're at the Glam Fest. Yeah, boy, let's go. Woo! <laughs> So Tom's up on stage, we're going to watch a bit of Tom and then me and Alan will have a walk around this festival and show you guys just what's on offer at the Glamp Fest. Never even knew about this um, festival up until last week at the Derbyshire Dubs when we got talking to James and we've bought this amazing Glowning Off. Thank you James, it's absolutely amazing, made up with it. The wood burner in the tent is an absolute game changer and this space it gives you off the side of your van is unbelievable. We're going to be using that at all our campouts. We're going to sit down, enjoy a bit of Tom with Luan for our birthday and then have a walk around and show you guys the rest of this festival. Yeah boy! I need you to be there To be there when I do to help me make it Help me succeed And show me Show me your vision And give me Give me Tell me what you see, I see our potential, everything that we can be. It's just we're surrounded by self-destructive souls, useless obstacles. And there's me in the picture, so show me. My curry man's on. I've seen him at Camp Jam. And also, he's coming to Dubbed Out Festival this year. The curry guy, absolutely epic. I need to go and see him in a bit. Sample of curry. How awesome is this little festival? Absolutely epic. I've not been in Big Ten yet. I need to get in here and sample the Big Ten. Hey, that is so loud in here. See you guys in a minute. Anigan, after the long queue, is near the front of the curry store. Should we go find out what he's having? I don't know. <laughs> Some vegan stuff. <laughs> what are we having, brother? Have? Come on. We're having some, whatever the vegan goodies are, like. <laughs> vegan goodies. <laughs> Lily's dancing. It's my birthday. Back from a nana nap. <laughs> I, 
I like you, man. I like you. You're a tired baby. Where well, I'm all Mate, you it. never, I know, you never ever have a relaxed and crash in the afternoon. Covid does that. And I went, I went chilling with the boys anyway. So I didn't even know that. He did what he wanted. So we are at the curry store. You know all of this. Ever since I found this guy at Camper Jam. Oh yeah. And he's also doing Dubbed Out Community Festival later this year. That's going to be awesome. I'll be filming backstage with him, how he peps his stuff and his curries and tell you all about his business later then. But if you see him at Dubbed Out or any other festival, the curry stall, check him out. Absolutely awesome. Right, we're going to have some spicy cashmere chicken. That's not that good here. Cashmere chicken. Mm. Spicy cashmere chicken. Let's go. <laughs> No. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Why? Do you a zombie? I don't want a zombie. Luan had a zombie cocktail here. Yeah? That was the start of the nana nap. <laughs> if I never have a nap, so I want another zombie. I want the bed. That was so good. Me and the boys went for Long Island and Ice Teas. She don't know that one. Well, James from Glornin invited us up to come and film this awesome festival and as you know we bought Luan one ready set up for when we came here for her birthday which is tomorrow but what class it is today because it's pack up day you can't have your birthday on a pack up day so her birthday's been today she's had an awesome day but James I hope I can do you justice I'm going to get some extra filming in now because we've enjoyed this festival so much and it just shows who we have because unlike all the others We've been forgetting to film. We've just been really into the vibe in the tents, the food hall, the middle bit in the garden where everybody's been chilling, catching up with Tom and everybody else. It's just been, <laughs> it's just been, it's been magical. I, I like 100%. I think this size of festival is way better than the massive ones. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the big ones. They've got the place and a purpose they have. But this size festival, for me and Luan, so more personal, you can talk to everybody, you can get around everybody, you don't get lost. Uh, Slows better. I like it. Glam Fest, if you've not been before, make sure you come and check them out. It's just gonna get better and better, this is, guys. Awesome. We've had such the best time. We've had an ace day, haven't we? And the weather's been absolutely banging today. So I hope it's good tomorrow, we can pack our new tent away, dry, which will be good for the first time. And James. So, I'm gonna show you guys some footage from the main tent and around here before we slip off back to Tom's tent for a chilled acoustic jam session, fire pit, birthday drinks. <laughs> Can I have a zombie? Are you on another zombie? <laughs> that polished one off earlier. <laughs> I'm allowed to... Brent, it's my birthday, I'm allowed to have a nap. <laughs> You're a three hour nap. <laughs> this guys this is a new version or what you can have if you need it of the glowing it's a double van connector so you've got so you can share it with your friends so obviously you can even have up to a large one that side a lot of a crafter show ten in the middle like your normal glowing and then another van there 
So you can have your and your friend's van either side of your lawn in and meet in the middle. How cool is that? It's a proper family orientated festival. They've had stuff on for the kids, drumming sessions, nature, like... Lou, what was that nature thing? They had it for the kids? Forest schools. Forest schools. Um, they've had films on a projector here. You can put kids have sat down and they put headphones on and listen to the film. Eurovision's on the big screen now. I'll try and show you that. It's quite cool. Yeah, so it's like disco headphones. That's so they're using the silent disco headphones to watch the Eurovision. And all sat on here. They've had all sorts of kids' activities. Like I say, the drumming session. There's loads of traders. We'll try and check the traders out tomorrow. We didn't really have a chance today. We're just like saying. We think we we've so enjoyed this festival. We are definitely coming back. It's one of his most favourite festivals, honestly, that me and Luan's done. The vibe, the atmosphere, I mean it has helped with the weather. We cooked nothing either. We always cook stuff. <laughs> we always cook stuff and we've just been on the food stalls because we've enjoyed it, we want to be down here all the time. So yeah. Hopefully we'll get the traders on for you tomorrow. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to get back to the glon in, get a fire on, get it warmed up, get comfy, and we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah boy. And I'm a really stingy tonic pour, I'm afraid. So it's kind of one-to-one -one gin to tonic for me. <laughs> um, you two get on well. <laughs> yeah. And if I have a gin and tonic, it'll go for some, how much tonic of gin have you got? Exactly. Yeah, and it's, I do like the taste of tonic, but I yeah, don't right. just want to uh, drink tonic. Yeah. You know, if I wanted to drink tonic, I'd drink it by itself. <laughs> And I mean, wow, the smell as we walk back into this glowing from having a look down there and taste the gins is unbelievable. The sweet, you know, like that sweet, uh, can't explain it. That sweet taste smell that you get from sweet potatoes, large sweet potatoes, all wrapped in that foil. Can you imagine this? Oh, man. Just open the door. We're a bit dubious whether it had cooked them nice and put a knife in and it sunk straight through. Wow. So, we're going to put this pan on with some stag, stag dynamite chilli on the top, warm that through, take the jacket taters out, put them on a plate, pour this chilli on, boof, Bob's your uncle. Then we're going to let this fire die down, it's just on the embers now, so if we open the door, let the heat out, that should die off, and we'll slowly start to pack away and see get the other tent, pack that away. Well, pack it in the van anyway. Right, let's get this jacket taters. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. Right, time to get the jacket taters out. Pour his chili on. Let the fire down. Enjoy this, I can't wait to look into this, honestly. This is a game changer for us. I love cooking. So to be able to cook in this lawning with an oven, we're doing lasagnas and all sorts. Oh, mate, I'll be doing some cool stuff cooking now with a van because you don't have to use it when you're glowing. You can lose it outside. Put the flu on, and we can just use it on a nice summer's day. So we even can take the oven even when we've knocked up the tent, which is badass. So right, let's crack on with that. 
It's a bit hot, so I'm using the ducky data to open it. We've got gloves at home, haven't we? So I've got nothing on the list. All the juice from the teeters has run all down, it smells divine. Wow, look at the size of that one. <laughs> it's massive. Ha <laughs> ah, hot. My days. It's good I've got this heat proof mat, we've battered it already. But look. Oh! It's cooked them absolutely perfect. It's nice and slow, it's kept the juices in. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh, look at that, guys. We got back and I said, um, are they going to be still rock hard? Like, oh, just give me a knife, I bet they're not cooked. And they were. That was good, that was. They went an hour, wasn't it? Oh, the butter's melting through. Oh, I've got cheese. This is going to be a game changer for us in the van, honestly. Having this. This, you can buy, I think you can buy this separately for about 500 quid, five and a half hundred quid. Awesome, yeah. It's 499 definitely. 499. Because it's brand new. It's brand new. It's just come out. So you've got the stove and the oven at the rear. Some spicy cheese on in there. Been slowly warming up on the top. This is so good. Improvisation this was. It's cooked. Them jacket potatoes, like, perfect. <laughs> We've done it. It's all away. It's packed. It weren't too bad, was it, actually? No. It made it worse, because obviously we bought the other one for the eldest. They packed it all down, but we've had I was going to show you in, here in this van, but I'll show you at home because if I undo that sliding door, all hell will break loose. You've had to pull stuff through the window. <laughs> I've had to shut the sliding door, open the sliding window, and pull stuff in to top it up. There's two five metre Glorians, two ovens, full weekend, obviously, clothes, food, and other stuff. Crazy, but it's packed away. Right, we're going to chill. Go down and see Tom. Cake. And uh, have some birthday cake with Tom and the boys and the girls even. Let's go. Well, that's about it from Glampfest. All the traders are packing away. There's not many left in the field. These guys are just packing away now. That's the renter tents. And this is the VIP section. There's not many left. All the traders and all the people. Tom's just packed away. We just said see you to him. He's on his way back. So unfortunately, that's it for this episode. We've had an absolute blast of a time here at Glamfest. James, thank you very much for the tickets, letting us come and film your amazing festival, and thank you for our glowing. It's absolutely amazing. Can't wait to get that out on up and coming camp outs and other bits and bobs we're doing uh, with Jameson. So it's going to be awesome. If you've not tried Glamfest, I definitely recommend it. It's an awesome vibe, a different mix of people. There's obviously normal camping people and motorhomes and you normal van lifers and other things. So it's a good mix of that same lifestyle we all love. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. It's awesome for the families. You have kids activities throughout the day. It's just an absolute all round good vibe all weekend. So unfortunately, that's it for this episode, guys. Don't forget, if you like our videos, click the link. <laughs> I messed it up. Leave a link. Give it. Oh, bloopers. So that's it for this episode. Don't forget, if you like our videos, click the link. Hit subscribe. It really does help us out and lets the channel grow. Leave a comment in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, boy.
Covid was that. And I went, so. I went chilling with the boys anyway. So I didn't even know that. You didn't know what you wanted. So we are at the curry store. You know all of this. Ever since I found this guy at Camper Jam. Oh yeah. And he's also doing Dubbed Out Community Festival later this year. That's going to be awesome. I'll be filming backstage with him, how he peps his stuff and his curries and tell you all about his business later then. But if you see him at Dubbed Out or any other festival, the curry stall, check him out. Absolutely awesome. Right, we're going to have some spicy cashmere chicken. That's not that good here. I don't know if you can hear that, but we've got... Alright, stop now. Clap along if you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving me gloning. It's amazing. I do your gloning voice. Welcome to my gloning. This is a spiritual place. Please no res shouting. Respect the spiritual zone in my surroundings. The incense is burning. We find our inner peace. Sit down on the cushions. Take a moment to enjoy the tranquility of Mr. Monkey's gloaming tent. Thank you very much. <laughs> just got back, we've just got home. Oh, I've got to empty the van. We're home.